And as Texans watched the Gulf for Hurricane Barrel, another threat closer to shore caused chaos on the 4th of July. Take a look at this. A six-foot-long shark injuring two swimmers and attacking two others on South Padre Island. One victim taken to the hospital with a severe bite on his leg. The Coast Guard is on high alert and keeping beachgoers out of the water. News Station Stephanie Haynes is on the beach in South Padre Island. Stephanie, not many people would want to go for a dip after seeing these attacks. Yeah, you know, Nick, I think that is a very safe bet. And look, all eyes are going to be on the beach today as people are looking out into the water for those fins. As you said, the Coast Guard really advising people to stay out of the water after four reported shark attacks in the span of just a few hours here on South Padre Island. Two were bites, uh, according to the game warden, and the other two uh, were close calls, close encounters with that shark. And so this happened right on the 4th of July, Nick. You know, people were out here having a good time, and then they described to our News Nation station here uh, what sounds like the scene out of a horror movie people screaming there was blood in the water and get this Nick the Texas game warden believes all these four attacks within the span of a two hour period came from the same six foot shark if you can believe it so lifeguards first responders Coast Guard you can see they're trying to work really quickly to clear the beach and again officials want to stress that this is a very rare rare attack the last time there was a shark bite here on South Padre Island shark attack rather was five years ago but it remains to be seen uh, what the beach will be like today how many people will show up and given how hot it is going to be today hot and sunny and the last few days before that storm starts to come in Nick you're a rare Stephanie but still unsettling and 71 other question for you how are people in South Texas preparing for hurricane barrel. Yeah, it's very much an attitude of cautious anticipation here, just given how historic and dangerous that storm has been in the South Caribbean. The governor and other emergency management officials have, for the past week, been calmly sending out alerts to Texans saying, hey, you know, now is the time to really start to think about your hurricane or tropical storm preparedness plan. Know your evacuation route if you need that, if you want to start getting some supplies. I can tell you there's being here over the past few days, there has been no mad dash. There's no mandatory evacuation order, but uh, there are opportunities for people to grab free sandbags all throughout the county here along the shore if they want. Uh, also, in terms uh, of hurricane preparedness, uh, there are people who are just trying to cancel events. A couple of events have been canceled for the weekend, Nick, but again, uh, really, it's just been these, these nice few sunny days here we have today and tomorrow, which are going to be hot and sunny and beautiful and really breezy. People might be coming here to soak up those last few days. Also, the rip currents uh, are going to be a real threat here. But again, with those shark attacks, uh, that might really deter people from coming out to the beach, going into the water. Yeah, Thanks. Stephanie, we need people to stay safe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.